Hello everyone and welcome. You know, a few weeks back I did a review of a prototype laser distance measuring tool with dual lasers from a different company. Unfortunately, with that device the lasers could only be used as visual aids but could not take measurements. Well, today I bring you a laser distance measuring tool that has two lasers that can actually take measurements in both directions. This dual function laser has multiple ways of taking measurements making your life that much easier. You can measure from one side of the room or from the center of a room taking measurements in both directions. This guy has many different formulas and methods of being used allowing you greater flexibility over a standard laser measuring tool. So if you've been looking for a distance measuring tool and didn't know that you can get one with dual functioning lasers for taking dual measurements, stick around as I unbox and test this puppy. Alright guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. So let's talk a little bit about some of the features that this guy has. But before we get started testing this guy, do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way you can notify it every time I do another product review video, DIY project, or a sale at a big box store where I can help you guys save even more money. Alright then, so this is the Dual Laser Distance Measuring Tool from Tadato. Available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this kit retails for $79.99. But they also have a 20% off discount coupon on their Amazon page making it even cheaper than that. So what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well, you get the laser measuring tool itself. You get a USB cable to power this guy up. You get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the unit, how to use it, take care of it, all the units and stuff like that, and all the formulas, how to use them. You get a lanyard to be able to put it on your wrist if you want to do that. And you get a hard storage case to keep it stored in when you're not using it, keep it nice and protected. This guy comes with a one year warranty and the dimensions on this guy are 4 inches by 2 inches by 1 inch in thickness. And this guy has a very convenient rubber overmold to make it easier to handle when you're taking measurements. This is a dual laser distance measuring tool that can measure in two directions simultaneously. This unit can measure up to 393 feet or 120 meters in one or two directions. This unit has a measuring accuracy of plus or minus two millimeters. And this little guy is powered up by an 850 milliamp hour lithium ion rechargeable battery that can last you all day long of continuous use from a single charge. This little guy can also take measurements in either metric or imperial units so you can select feet and inches or meters and centimeters whatever is most convenient for you. This device can store up to 100 data sets so you don't have to worry about writing down your measurements since it can store it for you. This unit has a large backlit display and auto rotating screen that can also be locked in one orientation if you prefer to do that. Otherwise it rotates so you can easily read it from any angle that you turn it to. And we'll take a look at all that in just a moment. This unit has a magnetic back so you can easily attach it to any metal surface and it also has a tripod camera screw mount on the back so you can mount it on the tripod for taking measurements of large areas with greater stability. This little guy is IP54 dustproof so it can work just fine in any dirty environment. This little guy has an electronic angle finder and digital bubble always displayed on the screen making it super easy to see your adjustments as you're doing them. This distance measuring tool has 9 different measurement modes such as distance, area, wall, indirect measurements, continuous measurements, volume, angle and height, add and subtract measurements, Pythagorean and more. So this dual laser distance measuring tool offers greater convenience and flexibility when compared to other laser distance measuring tools that I've tested in the past. This little guy allows you to take measurements from one part of the room to another or from the center of a room in both directions. This can be very convenient if you cannot conveniently reach the other area that you're trying to measure or if you want to find a central location from which to take your measurements and adjustments. This is also convenient when you have oddly shaped rooms with angled walls. Either way, this little guy gives you a lot of flexibility. So let's take a little closer look at this unit and see how it performs. Alright guys, so let's take a little closer look at this unit, see some of the features that it has and so forth. I'll go through and explain some of the different things about it so you can get a little more familiar with it. Now this is, like I said, the entire unit right there. It's about 4 inches by about 2 inches by about 1 inch in thickness. Fits very conveniently and the size of your hand. Easy to use it whenever you need to, easy to carry it around, fits in your pocket very conveniently as well. All your buttons are right here on the front. This is all your controls right here, nothing on the sides to worry about. 
So that way you have everything easily accessible whenever you need to take a measurement. Everything is also on the screen all the time. Not like some units that some things will disappear off the screen. So you have to keep selecting it or clicking the button or whatever to get it to come back. The only thing with this guy is that after a while, it'll fade away and then turn itself off. So I don't know if it'll do that as I'm talking. But if you don't take a measurement, it will turn itself off to conserve the battery. But you have everything right there on the screen. Like I said, your measurements will be right there. It's zero right now because I haven't taken any measurement. And I have it set to feet and inches. You can set it to metric as well. Your bubble level is right there. Your battery level indicator is up here. Your formula that you're using is indicated right there, so you always know what formula you're using. And your angle indicator is right there all the time, so you always know what angle it is using. And the measurement type that you're taking, I don't know what you would call it, but the type of measurement that you're taking is indicated right here as well. And that tells you on that indicator right there, and you have the arrow right there telling you a little bit bigger, how you're gonna be taking the measurement. Like in this case, you're taking measurement in both directions from the center of the unit. And one convenient thing that this unit has, I noticed right when I unpacked it, that it seems like something so simple, but some manufacturers will either forget or ignore things like this. Look at these two little arrows right there. Sometimes you wanna know where am I taking a measurement from? Or where do I need to make the line when you're making a measurement? Like if you're taking a measurement here, you want to know where it is. You want to take a pencil and jot it down on either side. It has a line right there. So you see it has a line right on the front so you can see it easily and right on the top here. So if you're looking at it downward, you have it against the wall and you're looking at it from top down, there's a line right there so you know where to put it. And the screen rotates as you move it. And it does the same thing on both sides. So you have, you can look at it top down, uh, bottom up, whatever you do, it'll do the same. As you see, the screen keeps rotating it because like I said, I don't have it fixed in one view. So if you rotate it, like, let me put it this way. You change it this way, it rotates. Change it that way, it rotates. Change it that way, it rotates. So it's always convenient for you to see it no matter how you have it set up. It'll rotate so it's easy for you to see what you're looking at. Now, back to what I was saying, as far as this goes right here, right now it's set to taking a distance measurement in both directions from the center of the unit. But you can easily change that to where right now it's taking from one side of the unit to the other. It's showing you right there, visually displayed, where it's measuring from and the laser, how it's coming out. Click it again, and then the laser is coming out of the other way, you're measuring it the other way. Click it again, you're measuring from the front of the unit, up here. So this is where your measurement would be starting from, not here anymore. Click it again, and you're back to the middle in both directions. So it tells you very conveniently how you're doing it, how you're taking your measurement, so you don't make mistakes and you know exactly how that works. Now all these buttons right here, like I said, that's basically for changing all that around. This is plus or minus if you wanna take different measurements, you can record your measurement or go to the different formulas. You see they pop up right there and then you just select the different formula that you want and you can pick the one for whatever project you're doing and then you're all set. And we're back to the one that I started with and then you click there and you're set. And this is the on off button or the clear button right there for whenever you're using the unit and you wanna take measurements. So everything is very convenient and easy to use right there. And like I said, the bubble and everything is very convenient. Now the bubble, let me show it this way, because I have to turn it that way for gravity, not laying on the table like that. You see how it's green when it's level, right? Now, if you turn it the wrong way, if it's off level, it'll turn yellow. You go too far, it turns red. You're going back, there you go. You go the other direction, it'll do the same thing. Now, if you look at the angle up here, you see how the angle changes all the time based on whatever it is that you're doing. So you constantly have a reading of your angle if you're trying to take an angle measurement. So that's very convenient right there. You see, it'll tell you your angle as you're changing it. I'll change the camera in a moment so I can give you a little bit better display of how that goes. Now, as far as, uh, let me see, I said that it has a magnet on the back. Right there, you have a magnet and you can, stick it onto any magnetic metal surface and it'll stay there with you, no problem at all. And you also have a screw mount back here so you can put it on a tripod very conveniently. And you have a nice little rubberized uh, surface there so it's easy for you to grab it. Now on this side, there's nothing there. On this side over here, you just have a little door 
for your USB charger. Now you open this little guy up, there is your USB right under there. And then you close it back up when you're all set. So that's what the little guy looks like. There's your laser measurement there, laser measurement there, and that's how that guy goes. Now let me turn it this way so it goes back, there we go. And if you want to take a measurement, I'll just take a real quick one right here, but I'm going to do it more in just a moment. But like I said, all you do is click that little guy there. So you see the lasers are active. It tells you right there it's active. Then you click it again and you get a measurement. Now it took it in both directions. So it's telling you how far one side is, how far the other side is from the center of the unit. And that tells you right there how all the measurements are, where you're located. So that tells you if you want to take a measurement from here, how far am I out going in these two directions, it'll tell you very conveniently. So we'll, we'll give you a little bit better look at that in just a moment. So that's how that looks. Let me move the camera and I'll show you as far as the inclinometer and all that. Now, now that I moved the camera, let me give you a little different perspective. Don't want it to turn off on me. Different perspective that shows you right there how that looks. And if you look at the bubble, you see how that changes dramatically how you're doing it. And then look up here at the angle. If you're trying to find an angle, you're trying to create an angle, whatever project you have, it'll tell you what your angle is right there. Now, obviously the bubble level and the angle will be against each other. They'll contradict each other, but sometimes you want to create an angle. You don't want it to be perfectly level, but that'll tell you everything right there. You see the display, easy to read, your measurements, both easy to read and your formula, easy to read right there. So this guy is very, very clear and easy to read, probably even in daylight. I'm indoors right now, but in daylight, it should still be fairly easy to read. So that gives you a good display right there. And if you rotate it, then you see right there, it rotates again as uh, whatever direction that you're pointing it in. So there you go. So let's take a little uh, measurement with it and see how it works. All right, guys. So let's take some measurements using this little device and we'll see exactly how it works as far as measurements. I'm not going to use a lot of complicated formulas and stuff like that. This is only a demonstration. As far as the formulas go, uh, you have to decide which one is best for your given project. But right now, let's take a distance measurement and see how far it is in my garage bay from the garage door to that back wall over there. And it'll tell me very easily how far it is from one end to the other and where I am standing in the middle. So let's take a quick measurement. We're measuring from the center of the unit where the little green arrows are and turn it on, activate the lasers. And let's see, you see right there, let me move it around so you can see there's one laser there. You can see that now over there, where is it? There's where am I pointing? I'm moving it for you guys. Uh, you can't see it on the wall. Well, you see it on the cabinet. You see it right there. On the wall, it kind of fades away. I don't know if you can see it very well. It turned off right now. But let me turn it on again and activate the lasers and we'll take a measurement. And there you go. So that tells me that the garage bay is 19 feet 11 inches. And you see right there, if you look at it closely, you'll see that it's nine feet in one direction and 10 feet in the other. So I'm not exactly in the middle, am I? Now, if I move to a different location, let's move further over here. So I'm closer to the wall and further from over there to the door. And let's take another measurement and see what it does. And we have the lasers active. You can see one laser right there and the other laser over there on the door. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's over there. So let's take another measurement and see what it is from here. And there you go. See, it's exactly 20 feet for this bay from one end to the other. The other way I must have measured it hitting something that uh, made it a little bit smaller. But you see right there how far it is. 14 feet in one direction, 5 feet in the other. Now what if I just wanted to take a measurement in one direction, not taking two measurements like this? then all I have to do is basically change the formula. Well, change the direction, actually, not the formula. I want to point in that direction from the back of the unit, right? So all I have to do is go over here, and I'm going to put it right here against the wall. You see? So I have it. Let me move it over here. I have it right there against the wall, and I'm going to click the laser and see how far it is from this wall to the garage door. Ready? And there you go, 19 feet, 11 inches. So from that wall to the garage door, it is 19 feet, 11 inches, and what, three sixteenths? Yeah, there you go. Let's do that again. 
do that again, see what it tells me. It obviously depends on, you see the garage door has ridges and stuff to it, so it depends which one it hits as to how the measurement will alter. Let's try that again, clear it out, take the measurement, and there you go, 1911 and 5 16 okay. So there you go. So if you don't want to take a tape measure all the way out to almost 20 feet, you can see right there with this laser exactly how far it is. And you see that we took the measurement from the back end of the unit, the back part there. So you put that up against the wall and it tells you exactly how far that is away. So that's very convenient. And you see right there, you see the angle and the bubble level and everything tells you exactly what you're doing when you need to. Now, if you want to take a measurement and you want to do it angled like that, you can do that very conveniently. and It'll tell you exactly what angle you're doing at. So that's fairly convenient. Very easy unit to use. You put it down somewhere and you take measurements by using it right there. Very convenient little unit. So that's how that little guy works. All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of a dual function laser distance measuring tool. One tool that can help you take measurements in one or two directions. It can tell you how big a distance you have in one direction that you're measuring, and it can also help you split up a room in two different areas by taking two measurements in different directions. It also works as an angle finder and a level indicator with the built-in digital bubble level. Now, I know that I didn't get into the complex formulas that this guy has and go into great detail on that, but I think a lot of people would get bored watching all the complicated formulas that this guy has and how you use them. This is a review video, not an instructional video showing you how to use all the complex formulas in this device. Besides, I think most of my viewers are homeowners and will probably be using this as a measuring device for taking measurements in one or two different directions. But as you get comfortable with it, you'll be able to use more of the formulas in there because this device gives you room to start off small and grow from there as you get comfortable and learn all the formulas. So learn at your own pace, get comfortable with it, and you'll be able to do a much better job. As a professional, you probably already know how to use those formulas, so you don't need me to show you how to do it. Either way, a simple device that starts off small and gives you plenty of room to grow. Check out the Amazon page for complete details. Questions, comments, put them down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.